Are you ready for more GT2? Because I am, though. So. What is the garage cap? Garage cap is 100, I believe. And I have 31 cars. Anyways, as per usual, let's do some uh, scouting first for our next series because I don't remember the horsepower caps, so... Let's moosey on along and uh, go to our next series in page three of the special events. It's the Pure Sports Car Cup. All right, first race is 394. I don't... Hmm. I don't know what uh, this game considers to be a pure sports car, so I'm just going to pick something out of my garage that I think fits... Let's drive this, except I can't. This is a pure sports car, right? <laughs> Uh, no. Yeah, it's probably a coupe thing. Ooh, do I drive? Yes, we're driving this. Driving the Nismo, uh, piss GTR. Let's fucking go. Um, do I want to do upgrades now? I'll do a slight upgrade. Because 394 is the power cap for the first race, so fuck it. Turbo! No, it's not the turbo yet. Thank you, very cool tank. That's a Voltorb. Oh. That's not as much power as I was expecting to get out of this car. With a uh, exhaust upgrade. What's up, Dexter? Alright, let's see what kind of fuck-off turbo we can put in this. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Reaper, I know. The stage he had died for this. Alright, we're gonna get the stage 1 turbo. And I think I'm just gonna do the strat of uh, racing tires for the other two races. <laughs> Gonna do a little weight reduction as well, cause fuck it. This thing is a heavy boy, it was like 3,700 pounds, so. Let's lighten her up a bit, and then piss off uh, future me by going to home instead of the race, so I have to spend a little more time with uh, editing. Oh wow, that dropped 600 pounds, alright, cool. I'll take that, so let's go. Let's go race. For the pure sports car cup. Race numeral one. Num 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 mid-syllable, so that's what you got. Alright, what we got here? We got an Elise, we got an NSX, a, uh, Kamikaira, RX-7. Oh, I should have used the RX-7. Wait, did I sell? No. Did I sell the freaking C2 and RX-7? I think I did. Should have used that. What's up, Cam? Sold it? Okay, never mind. I was be like, about to be like, fuck, I should've used it. Oh, well, it's fine. Well, it's not fine, the fact that this Elise is, uh, quickly starting to run away. Get back here, you small bastard. I could've used the S2K, yeah. But, like, I wanted to use a different car, and... I have I have different cars. I want to try to avoid like using the same car multiple times if I can. I know I failed miserably with that earlier because I used the same two cars for the entirety of the GT Nationals, but you know. Here we are. Yeah, Corkscrew is still scary despite me being in a four-wheel drive car. Still a very scary turn. Oh, here we go. 
Oh yeah, drop frames. I think my internet's being a little spotty right now. So I've had like a couple patches of drop, a couple hundred drop frames throughout the night. I'll keep an eye on it. <laughs> Damn, I totally should have used the challenger. It would have been perfect. Been the ultimate flex. Aha, nice try, fucko. He thought he had me, but I got him with the crossover. Oh my god. You are correct, Reaper. It did it did slay the GT40 and the Shelby Daytona. In the same race, mine. Challenger OP. We'll be back to two lap races. Oh, oh, yeah, oh. Okay. One more turn. A little late on the brakes, could have been better, but we're good. It was good enough. And... Victory. Race one. No. Oh, who was second? Oh, the ZZS ended up second. The Elise fell to last. Some tells me the Elise had a little fucky-wucky in the corkscrew. On lap two. Because, uh... Yeah, not only did he finish last, he was also, like, not in the pack. Interesting. Speaking of interesting, one thing I want to mention about Laguna Seca in this game is for some reason they decided to put, like, the first grid spot further ahead compared to the other grid spots, so, like, the pole setter just has an advantage <laughs> at the start because he's further ahead compared to the rest of the grid. I always thought that was interesting. And weird. But yeah, your little Laguna Seca GT2 quirk. Fact of the day, I don't know. Alright. 443 is the power cap for race 2. So. It's time for tires. Yeah, there's no actual qualifying. All right, how much are the softs gonna cost in this car? 15.5, okay, cool. I really wanna get the super softs and like eventually I'm gonna have to fuck with the super softs cause I wanna see how much turbo grip I will have. Uh, can I put an intercooler on this thing? Also we're on day 69, nice. Okay, put the intercooler on for an extra 20 horsepower. 367. And considering I'm on racing tires now, uh, this should be plenty. So, onward to race two of the pure sports car cup. So pure. At Deep Forest. Let's do it. On our 69th day, we head to the forest. Ooh. Nice ice pants. Here we go. That, that was okay. We have a Stratos in here. Head into the bush. Oh, hey, uh, all will drive, by the way. <laughs> zoom. Oh, the Strat. Speaking of zoom, the Stratos. He zoomed off the line. But I have captured him. I think it's fucking quick. Ah! Out in your way. Zoom. Go! Get 
dollars. Speaking of 69, it's Q. I don't know. And on the 69th day. <laughs> oh. The turn wasn't over yet. But yeah, I finally trimmed my beard. It was becoming a nuisance uh, at work because of the mask. Fun fact, uh, face masks and beers do not, uh, co uh, yeah, they, they don't coexist very well. Run away. Alright, they're in the, the rubber band pack, I believe. Florida face mask. America in general, not just Florida. It's bad. Who knew that preventing people from becoming sick and actually fucking eradicating our goddamn population was a political opinion? Welcome to the USA. So I can't wait for the, the next super spike of COVID now that, like, some areas are trying to, you know, do public schools, public schooling. So I hope if you're ready, you're ready to uh, flatten the curve some more. By flatten, I mean go straight up. Oh, hey, I dropped a couple hundred more frames. Anyways, I win! And hey, the Elise got revenge on uh, whatever the fuck happened at Laguna Seca. Finishing second here. EZS third. Stratos ended up fourth. We had a Cerbera, and the NSX ended up last. Prefer GT2 soundtrack or one? Uh, I'd say overall, probably twos. I did, Reaper. First fucking day. First fucking day. They couldn't go a single school day without having to uh, shut down. I know. Look at me. I live in Indiana and I'm stupid. <laughs> Anyways, one race to go. Pure Sports Car Cup. At Trout Mountain with a power cap of 591. <sighs> I want to buy a bigger turbo, but I also don't want to spend the money. I'm just gonna go for it and see what happens. But put a little more uh, oomph in this. More oomph so we can avoid the oof. Turbo. So what's up, Arthur? Okay, we're at 367. So yeah. Uh. Shit. That's better than nothing. It's stage 2 turbo. More stank, if you will. This bitch up to 429. I already have the intercooler. Ooh, 30 horsepower with the exhaust. Let's do that. Alright, there we go. Now we're only like 140 horsepower off the cap, so uh, we should have a better shot this time. Keyword should. So, uh, Trial Mountain. Take two. Let's go. How OP the soft tires? Well, I mean, I was over 200 horsepower below the cap. And uh, I managed to finish second, so pretty fucking OP. Now let's see what I can do with a little more power. A little more power. Like 71. 
Elise is back. We have a server up. Oh. Oh god, the turbo lag. S2000. That is ZZS, I think it is. Yeah, not the largest pool of cars for this. And then an RX-7 on pole. Alright. Already off to a much better start. Although I'm getting bullied by the... Uh, by Tommy here. Like, the best thing about GT2 is the over-exaggerated turbo sounds. Someone in the audio department... <laughs> really likes turbo sounds. Go do your thing, Thunder. Do it good. Yeet! The yeet did not work. Oh, it worked on the RX-7. <laughs> imagine if Turbo Lover was in GT2 soundtrack instead of 3. I'm your turbo lover. Actually, I actually had to slow down for the chicane. Oh, God. I steered the car left for a right-hander. What's wrong with me? <laughs> Alright, so here we are chasing a small car again, but this time it's it's, it's Tommy, Tommy Z. Instead of uh, the motorsport Elise. Also, you didn't go flying off the track, unlike the S2000 in their first attempt. Go. Tommy no longer dominate. Is is the rise of piss. Big fast, big piss. Fuck yeah, Iowa. Wah woo wee wah. And win. Fuck yeah. Oh, and off the course. <laughs> Alright, so the two small cars ended up second and third. And the Cerbera. S2000, the RX-7 ended up last. Neato. Did I save a replay for this? I can't remember. I don't think I did. Whatever, I'll save a replay for this one. Yeah, 10 grand! Woo. We're still pretty poor. Well, yeah, Omar, because leftovers are good. Why waste food when you could preserve it and eat more later? Yeah, fuck cancer. Okay, I did. I saved the deep forest race, okay. No, I did not. I'm stupid. But yeah, I did. I'm... Double stupid. Alright, whatever. Don't worry about it, I'll fix it later. Whoopsie. I love when I can't read. Alright, anyways, pure sports car cup complete. I did it. Did it. We're actually almost done with page three. We're gonna have to wait till we get our international A license to finish page three, though. Now, let's see what three cars we won from this. 
No, we didn't get any Mugens. Interesting. But we did get an Angel T01. A Tom's Angel T01. This sure is a thing. I forgot this was a thing. And we got a small car, Tommy Kyra ZZ3. Kind of like look. Kind of like looks. It looks like it has little li 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 mustache on the front. Little mustache. And then a Tuscan Speed Six. We got two small cars and then death. Very cool. Nice. Not bad. Not a bad at all. For our percentage, we're up to 23, and oh my god, chicane. Our sub baby is now five months old. They grow up so quick. Thank you, chicane, for the resub. Appreciate it. And that's how we end that segment. 